Hey, it's Phoebe and today I'm in Busan. Nestled along the southeastern coast of South Korea, Busan is renowned for its stunning beaches, vibrant culture and bustling ports. And in this episode, I'm visiting Busan for the very first time. We'll be exploring gorgeous villages, hidden spots and must visit destinations as we uncover some of the very best things to see, eat and do. But first, to get to Busan, I caught the bullet train from Seoul. It took around two and a half to three hours and I pre-booked my tickets online through trip.com as they had the cheapest price I'd seen. I didn't need to exchange my e-ticket for a physical one, I just showed up at the station, found the platform, then my train carriage and seat and that was it. There are plenty of spots to get a snack at the station, so don't worry about stocking up ahead of time if you don't want to, but do make sure you have some snacks and maybe some water for the journey and a book or downloaded shows for entertainment. I'll have a link in the video description so you can book your train tickets too. Now that we're here, it's time to explore. Let's go. We are starting our day off here at the Heidong Yonggunsa Temple. I'm sorry in advance for all the things I'm going to say wrong in this episode, but it is absolutely beautiful. Now this is a really old Buddhist temple, some 500 plus years old, and it's located right on the waterfront. It is spectacular. I am loving just walking around and exploring. Now I have heard that this is a really powerful place to make a wish, and I have a good one in mind, so let's find the wishing spot. <laughs> actually doing a tour. I thought that was a really great way to just kind of get started and tick off a few of the really must-see things that I wanted to do that were maybe a little bit further away from where it is I'm staying and I'll show you where I'm staying later because it's in a really great location and I definitely recommend staying in this area. But this just seemed like a really good way to get around, see those big few things that I knew I really wanted to see. Um, so I booked my tour through Kluk. I'll have a link in the video description below for you so you can click through. You'll be able to book that tour or check out a few others that I was eyeing off that you might like to explore as well. But so far it's just been really easy. And it's off to a really great start. Oh. <laughs> because Busan is really famous for seafood. You know who loves seafood? <laughs> Surprise, it's me. Um, I've struggled to find oh, Korean food I can eat because it's also meat heavy. Come down to Busan, it's all seafood heavy. I feel like this is my time to shine, guys. <laughs> so we've come to this waterfront seafood restaurant. I cannot remember the name of it. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen, most likely. Yeah. Wait, which guys? Sure, are you guys watching me? I don't know. Here? Maybe here. Definitely here. There were so many things that I could have ordered. Everything looks good, but I'm just little old me on my lonesome. So I ordered a raw fish bibimbap because I haven't had a single bibimbap since I got here. Let's dig in. I'm trying my first ever bibimbap. It's great. <laughs> it's like a Korean poke bowl. The spicy is really nice there's all these fresh vegetables in there the taste of the seaweed is great and the seafood itself is absolutely lovely i like the seafood beef and that and i'll tell you this much I, all of this was 15,000 korean won i think that's good value
this is the highlight of my time in Busan so far. I'm on the sky capsule. It is so cool. It's like this railway, I guess. It's up high. You're going along the coastline in these really cute, colorful little capsules. I had seen this all over the internet and I thought, I'll go and I'll do it and hopefully it lives up to the hype. I'm so glad I've done it. It really lives up to the hype. This is awesome. This is such a great way to see Busan. I highly recommend doing this. Now, when I was booking my tour for today, this was an option. There were all different configurations you could choose. One of them included the sky capsule. I'm so glad I booked it. If you aren't going to be doing the tour, that's okay. You can just book the sky capsule. I'll have some links below for you to help you figure that out. But honestly, this is, yeah, this is my highlight. I'm doing all right without you, baby Love, she told me I just said I okay Took your number off my phone I'm doing better on my own Sing up to the end beautiful little village set along the seaside. It almost reminds me of if you've ever been to Mykonos or Santorini and the white buildings are kind of set into the side of the cliffs or the mountains. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And this is reminiscent of that. It is so quaint and so sweet. There are all these gorgeous little cafes dotted along, lots of artworks, plenty of spots you can sit and just enjoy the coastline. Again, this is a real highlight for me. This is my vibe. I love this kind of thing. Little shops you can duck into, do a little bit of a cafe crawl, all the beautiful water views, and the town is just so sweet. This tour has really surprised me, I have to be honest with you. The, um, yeah, the stops have been amazing. Busan has really surprised me. I didn't know it was like this. And in quite a few ways, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I, quite a few ways I actually prefer it to Seoul. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> today it is the Gamcheon culture village. This place is stunning. It's all these pretty different colored houses kind of set into the side of the mountain and as you wander around the streets here there are loads of stores to explore. There's street food, cafes, loads of photo opportunities. You can rent a hammock if you want to. Now we only have an hour here. We don't have long. I'm going to try and do as much as I can but really you could come here outside of the tour and spend a lot longer. <laughs> you could spend a good couple of hours digging through this place, it's beautiful. Um, now one of the things that was recommended on the front page of the map was the Gamcheon Bakery and it said their, their Gamcheon's moon shaped cakes are what they're famous for. So I've, I've got two <laughs> and we're going to try two flavours. I don't know what to expect here. <laughs> but. Koreans know they're sweets, so I've got a lot of faith. <laughs> that looks like chocolate, tastes like lemon. Let's try this flavor. Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I'll leave. No, that's okay. The sweet lady's closing up. This is delicious. Let's go and explore. <laughs> She told me I just said it okay Took your number off my phone I'm doing better on my own Think I'm too tired
I don't mind to have a good old-fashioned tourist moment <laughs> but when I come to places like this and there's so many people I like to find a way to make it work for me and the way to make it work for me is to find somewhere a little peaceful that I can enjoy it a little more quietly um, and I recommend doing that at one of the cafes so I just came to one called Vodo Vom. it looked really cute they have this rooftop area I'm the only person up here so rather than let me let me show you the difference so rather than being like on the street and like everyone's down there and you know, you're kind of pushing and all this kind of stuff. I have this entire area, a little VIP area, all to myself. <laughs> and I can sit here with my lovely iced tea and just enjoy this beautiful view. It's so nice. It's such a peaceful way to do it. <laughs> For accommodation, I'm staying at Hotel Titi. This place is in the best location in Somyon. It's super close to the train station where all the tours seem to depart from, so it's really easy to get around. And Somyon offers loads of great spots to shop and eat too. Now the hotel itself is really modern and comfortable. There's a 24 hour convenience store in the lobby, which is great. There's a gym and a laundry and my room was huge. I loved how spacious, comfortable, modern and clean it was. It was exactly what I needed for this stay and I loved the giant TV with Netflix so I could curl up in bed and watch movies in the evening. I really enjoyed staying here and I would stay here again. I'll have a link below for you so you can check it out and book your stay or check out a few other hotels at different price points too. Good morning you guys! It is cherry blossom season here in South Korea and I thought we should make the most of that by joining a cherry blossom tour. So that is what we're doing today. Now I booked the Jinhae cherry blossom tour through Kluke. I'll have a link below for you so you can check it out and book it for yourself. It departs from Busan and Seoul but when I was looking at which spot I wanted to book it for it's a lot longer day if you go from Seoul. <laughs> it's something like 6 in the morning to 8 or 9 at night, whereas from Busan it's like 9 in the morning to 5 at night. So I met my tour group at the train station in Busan. We got on a bus, we picked up a few more people and then we drove about an hour here to the, I'm gonna say this wrong, Gyeonghwa Station. And there are so many cherry blossoms. I have never seen anything like this. Now I'm going to tell you something, it is extremely crowded. There are a lot of people here. I'm not surprised by that. <laughs> of course everybody wants to be here, it's absolutely amazing. But just prepare yourself for that. It is a lot. It may be a little bit difficult to get the dreamy cherry blossom photo of your dreams, but it's worth visiting because it's absolutely beautiful. So this is just our first stop. We have a little over an hour here and then we're on to our next stop um, so I'm just going to explore and make the most of this first stop and hopefully get some great photos and videos so you can see how beautiful it is here but honestly if you've been to Japan before and you think I want to go somewhere different to experience the cherry blossoms come here it's such a great alternative that the portable toilet <laughs> is right behind me and that's not ideal. Um, I've made a friend! Woo! This is Kiki! With the toilets behind her as well! <laughs> Kiki is from France. Bonjour Kiki! Kiki. Bonjour. Welcome to the channel! <laughs> so happy to be here! Oh, don't you just love... I was saying I was having a little bit of a rough day today. I was just feeling um, a little bit lonely and I just had a little bit of a rough morning this morning. And I was journaling on my phone and I was just feeling a little emotional and then Kiki and I just started talking and now my whole day has turned around because I have another solo girlfriend to travel with. It's so lovely. <laughs> so we are at our next stop and it is really beautiful. 
I'm not gonna lie, there are a lot, a lot of people around, but I think you just have to accept that that's part and parcel of the situation when the cherry blossoms are blossoming, when they're in full bloom like they are now. Um, now, Kiki came up with an excellent term before. When the petals are falling down, she was like, oh, I love the flower snow. <laughs> and then she giggled, she's like, oh, sorry, I don't know how to say it. And I was like, nope, that's the perfect way to describe it. Flower snow, that's exactly what it looks like. Um, so every now and then we get this breeze and the flower snow comes down and it is so beautiful. There's this gorgeous stream running through the middle of town. All the cherry blossoms either side have bloomed and I don't know how to say it to you other than it's like the trees are really thick and heavy and fat and juicy with all of these cherry blossoms. It is truly so beautiful. It is really amazing. I have seen the cherry blossoms in Japan before and maybe I just wasn't there at the right time because this is spectacular to me. Um, now we have about three and a half to four hours at this stop so that's plenty of time for us to wander around, explore the town, grab something to eat, take loads of photos and my tip to you is see these main areas like this spot, this famous spot with the love bridge but then wander around a little bit to get away from all the crowds and maybe that's where you're going to have those kind of more organic authentic moments and you can be able to get those really beautiful photos not that life is about photos but you guys know what i mean <laughs> all right kiki and i are going to have a wander around <laughs> bye 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 au revoir, au revoir. <laughs> I'm doing better, life cannot be more golden But honestly I won't lie Sometimes I ask why I can't get you out my head I ought to forget that I After wandering around a little bit, it was time for a refreshing beverage. So we spotted this really cute cafe, it's called Bobo's Cafe. The cafe itself is really pretty, it's all floral downstairs, they have some great cakes, um, a really great drinks menu. I've just got an iced latte, they didn't have oat milk but I've got like a condensed one and Kiki had a really beautiful um... <laughs> Used to be beautiful. <laughs> Pink strawberry latte. It looks so beautiful and I didn't notice this but Kiki did. The straws are hearts. Ah, isn't that just so cute? But they definitely recommend doing this like up high like this. We're at eye level with all of the cherry blossoms. Are you, oh you guys can see them behind me but look at that. Isn't that just spectacular? I'll tell you something. I started off the day and I was like oh yeah cherry blossom tour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, it'll be nice. I'm actually having a really, really lovely day. I'm having the nicest time. Obviously, making a great friend <laughs> has a lot to do with that. But if you're coming out here and you're traveling, you know, with your loved one or your family, or even if you are doing it solo, I, I think it's a great thing to do. I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> you're making all these promises and you'd always quit. You were just another hypocrite. No one can shake under the wet head. Now you thought that I would always stay. But you thought I'd be yours and shake my mind. starting things off with a cable car ride this morning. Now I booked this at the very last minute with no idea what was on the other side. I figured we'd just throw caution to the wind, have an adventure and see if it was good or not. Now I booked this on Kluke and I'll have a link below for you if you like it but when I first got on that gondola I wasn't too impressed. <laughs> a gondi is a gondi and I had no idea what was going to be waiting for me on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> and when I got there I was very surprised when I was greeted by a random assortment of stuff. There was um, some street food-ish looking places, they looked pretty gimmicky, a convenience store, some Frankenstein bobbleheads, some really colourful lanterns, love locks, animatronic dinosaurs, karaoke fired up and absolutely pumping at midday. 
and I was like I don't think this is for me but I kept walking and I found myself in what they're calling the healing forest and I'm so glad I kept walking because this is beautiful this is a real unexpected highlight for me it is stunning in here you have all these cherry blossoms just blooming in the middle of this beautiful forest the trees are all snaking over the pathways they wind up through the hills it is so lovely and then you pop out at these viewpoints and you have these sweeping ocean views it's very hazy and overcast today so it's not going to look great on film but if you were here on a blue sky day you would be so happy it's spectacular now I'm here on a Sunday, so I imagine it's busier than usual. If you came out here on a weekday, I have to imagine it would be so serene. I do wish the karaoke wasn't happening in the background. I would love to just sit here and enjoy the sounds of nature for a little while. I've been traveling through big cities for some time now and it would be really nice to, to just reconnect with nature a little bit, but dare I say it, I'm, I think this is a bit of a hidden gem. I haven't seen any other gringos around here, it's just me no other touristers. Um, so the park is called Amnam Park according to Google Maps. What's so special about Busan is its location along the water and here you get to really enjoy that. You know I was texting with my friend Denise today and she was asking me how it was in South Korea because she's planning to come here and she was like oh you know I'm gonna go to Seoul is it worth going to Busan? Yeah it's worth going to Busan. I actually prefer Busan over Seoul, which I wasn't expecting. I very nearly didn't come here. I nearly didn't book it. I was like, what could there possibly be there for me? It's all about Seoul. Nah, you have to come to Busan. And it's so easy to get here on the train, you know, catch that three hour, two and a half hour bullet train down from Seoul, spend two or three days here, and you would be very, very happy. In fact, if you don't come to Busan, I think you're missing out on seeing what's really, really a very special part of South Korea. Mexican food. So I went to this amazing restaurant, um, God Eat. <laughs> it's so cool in there. It's located right near the Jian Po Cafe Street, or it's on that street. I, I can't really tell looking at Google Maps. But here's the thing I wanted to film to camera in there, like I'm filming right now, but they're playing really loud commercial music. And when that happens, I can't film anything because if I film it, this camera my good Nikon will pick up all of that sound really clearly. So instead, I've been filming these little videos for reels and TikToks and YouTube shorts using this little microphone that I bought. It's so much fun, I love making them and I made one of those from there. So I'm just gonna inset that. <laughs> Enjoy. I'm in Busan <laughs> and I had a craving for Mexican food and I couldn't be convinced to eat anything else. So I found a Mexican restaurant it's called God Eat. Let's try some food. This is a shrimp taco. Uh, you and you're traveling for a really long time and then you get some familiar food and it hits the freaking spot let's get a fat dip of that guac oh my god the fine people of busan are about to see something they've never seen before they're about to see a white girl go in on some guac and tacos like nothing else <laughs> it's delicious come to me now are they the best tacos i've ever had in my life no are they exactly what i need right now Absolutely, yes. Oh, salsa is excellent. It's so spicy. That's also excellent. I don't know what that is. If you're traveling and you just need some familiar food because your tummy is homesick while you're here in Busan, come here. This place slaps. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see more of them, check out YouTube Shorts or you can find them on TikTok or some of them go on Instagram Reels. They're just so much fun to make. Now, I realized that I haven't spent a lot of time exploring this actual area where I'm staying, around Somyeong. It's a really cool neighborhood. I'm so glad that I stayed here. When I was looking at Agoda and I was looking at the maps, there seem to be a lot of hotels here and then a lot of hotels near Hyundai Beach. 
I was really tempted to stay at the beach but I'm actually so glad I stayed here because the location made it a lot easier to meet up with my tours. There's been a lot more food around, a lot more for me to see and do, it's just matched really what I've wanted to see and do while I've been here. So if you are looking for a place to stay, I do recommend this neighborhood and I have loved my hotel. I loved it so much. I slipped in today and just spent the morning in the room. It was awesome. But I do want to have a little bit of a wander around here and just see what these streets are all about. Maybe just go on a bit of organic exploration. You know those days are some of my favorites. So let's just have a little wander and see what there is to see. money card back in Seoul. It's like their public transport card. I got my team money card from a convenience store and I was able to buy it with my debit card, my bank card, but to charge it up I had to have cash. So make sure you do have some cash handy with you. All up I think I've been through about 20,000 Korean won worth of public transport. <laughs> And I found Ubers to be pretty good too. For the most part, they've been relatively affordable. Now when I'm departing here from Busan, I'm gonna be flying out of Busan International Airport, but if you wanted to, it would be relatively easy just to catch the bullet train back to Seoul and get a flight from Seoul, if that worked out better for your plans. As you move around Busan, you're gonna to wanna to have your passport with you, and that's for your duty-free shopping. Not everywhere has asked me for it, but some places have. And I actually have a fat stack of receipts <laughs> that I'm going to be going through and collecting back the duty at the airport tomorrow when I fly out of Busan. I would definitely recommend getting yourself a local SIM card because you're going to need it to navigate around and more than that, Google Translate comes in really really handy. <laughs> Everyone's so lovely and they try and help me where they can and a lot of people speak really great English, I speak no Korean. <laughs> so for me it's been really essential when I'm ordering at restaurants or trying to find my way around or just to ask for help. But I have had a really, really lovely time here in Busan. It has been the highlight of my time in South Korea and I didn't see that coming. I thought it was going to be Seoul. I thought I would fall in love with Seoul like I did with Tokyo and it would have my heart, but Busan has stolen it. <laughs> and it would be so easy to skip it and not come here and feel like it's all about Seoul and miss out on a great opportunity. Because Busan is really amazing and well worth visiting. I have really enjoyed my time here. Now I am flying out of South Korea tomorrow. I'm gonna to be going to a new country and I'm really excited about that. But it means I have to do a full repack of my suitcase. <laughs> I gotta pull everything out and get everything organized. I've been a bit smarter this time and instead of trying to get down to 20 kilos luggage, I paid the extra for 30 kilos luggage. <laughs> it's just gonna make my life a lot less stressful. So look, I'm gonna go upstairs back at my hotel and pack and get ready. <laughs> and get up very early because I have a very early flight. And with that, you guys, that brings this week's episode to a close. I really hope you've enjoyed it and our time in South Korea. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss a single episode and say hello in the comments below. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. Love ya. Bye.